Welcome to example number 12. We're asked to find the displacement from 0 to 6 seconds in the two graphs. So let's start with A. Hopefully you recall from our video on velocity versus time graphs, near the end of it we talked about how the area under a velocity time graph represents the displacement. So we need to find the area from 0 to 6 seconds. When you solve a problem like this on a test or a quiz, you should indicate at least what you're doing. Shade in the area and then write the concept that you're using. Something like this, that the displacement is equal to the area under the velocity versus time graph. And you're welcome to find that area whatever you wish, whatever way you wish to do it. I'm just going to break this up into a square or rectangle, sorry, and a triangle. My rectangle has a height of 8 meters per second and a width of 3 seconds. And my triangle is half of that area. And that gets you an answer of 36 meters. Okay, now moving on to B part. Go ahead and try it on your own. Let's see if you get the same answer. Stop the video and try it on your own. There's the area bound between the curve up to 4 seconds, but we need to go all the way up to 6 seconds. So right up to about here. Not 8, by the way. A lot of people make a mistake and think this goes all the way up to 8, but it's really only asked to 0 to 6 seconds. Remember that the area that is above the horizontal axis here is positive, and the area that is below the horizontal axis is negative. The displacement is the area under the VT graph. Now you could find an area of one block, for example, which has a height of 5 meters per second and a width of 2 seconds. And when you multiply these two numbers, you're going to get an answer of 10 meters. And we have 10 meters here and 10 meters here. And here, this is half of that. That's 5 meters. And below this axis here, we have negative 10 meters. And so we have a total area above of 35 meters and below negative 10, which gives you an answer of 25 meters. If you were to simply add all of these areas, neglect this being negative, then you would get an answer of 45 meters, and that would represent the distance. And that's it for example number 12.